And now, your first alert weather. So we've been getting a few of these thunderclouds coming into southern and southeastern Idaho already. Uh, you've been feeling the wind today. Yeah, it's going to remain windy as we head through tonight with more soaking showers in play as we roll into your Saturday, Sunday and Memorial Day Monday. This is a live look once again along Georgetown Summit. We're getting some of those showers coming along Highway 30 and we're working on more of this wet weather spilling up from the south here in the next few hours. And we're going to see more of these soaking showers rotating through the region as we take a look at Viper radar right now. Still pretty dry in the Snake River Plain, but this is what's heading in here for tonight and through tomorrow. Quite a bit of wet weather already to the west of us out towards Boise and areas along the Oregon state line along Interstate 84. Plus also as you're looking around Twin Falls, we getting some of the showers coming out of the northern Nevada region there around jackpot. Plus we're getting those showers out of northern Utah right now. Some of that stuff is rotating in here across southern and southeastern Idaho and you're getting little pops of yellow and red indicating. Yeah, we're just starting to work in those thunderclouds right now and you have a good little thundercloud that is just coming over the mountains in Pocatello, the core of which is still out here just west of town, south of the interstate and the airport, but the core of that thunderstorm is working to come over the foothills very shortly in the Pocatello area. And then also as you look further to the southwest, you got more thunderstorms coming right towards Bannock and Power Counties. We're going to be looking for this ridge of high pressure that's been with us for the past couple of days, well off to the east here, and we're going to welcome in this large area of low pressure. The engine driving the system is all the way up here still, just coming into British Columbia, but you can see the moisture in the cloud deck stretching all the way from Los Angeles up into Canada, and that's going to be the stormy pattern that we're going to see here riding along the jet stream as we work into tonight. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and even a little bit of Tuesday after the holiday. So here's the forecast. That area of low pressure continues to deepen. And what I mean by that, it pushes the jet stream further to the south. As a result, temperatures are going to drop as we get into Saturday afternoon with highs struggling to get to 60 degrees and even colder conditions expected for Sunday as the trough of low pressure pushes further to the south. We in turn pull in colder air from the north and it's going to be cold enough at night and for the early morning hours on Sunday that we're going to see some snow in our local mountains. Vipercast tonight around 10 o'clock. We got the scattered thunderstorm threat in full swing. So later on tonight, we're going to see more of these thunderstorms passing through the Snake River Plain. At times, those storms could turn close to severe status. So later tonight, we got some strong thunderstorms pushing through the region. Scattered rain showers stretching in from central Idaho all the way across the southern half of Idaho into northern Nevada, Utah, and western Wyoming. We'll see spotty thunderstorms Saturday afternoon. See little blobs of yellow and orange there on the map indicating, yeah, we've got the potential for some stronger storms as we get through Saturday evening. We'll see more of these snow and rain showers coming in for Sunday and I did say snow because there's the blue on the map as we see the colder air working in from the north and the rotation starts to get right overhead here for Sunday and Monday and some of those showers start seeping in from the north and the northeast as we work through Memorial Day dropping temperatures on Memorial Day for highs into the upper 40s leading to some rain and snow possibilities. In fact, speaking of snow, I haven't used this map in a long time. I want to sh show you the snow potential here. Now, of course, we're talking mostly mountain snow showers with a little bit of the snow kind of skirting around the Snake River Plain. But places like Soda Springs could even see some snow. Quite a bit of wet weather in the Snake River Plain as we're getting into Saturday afternoon with those soaking showers. So yeah, hold on to your hats. It's going to be a bumpy ride. 59 for the high in Malad and Preston. 54 in Soda Springs with highs of 58 in Rexburg. 51 in Jackson. 48 in Island Park. Highs in Chalice at 61. 56 in Arco. And temperatures tomorrow into the 40s and 50s throughout the day with a lot of wind and those scattered showers. Eight-day forecast will go to Jackson. Temperatures stuck into the 40s for Sunday and Monday with overnight lows mid to lower 30s with the chance of rain and snow and rumbles of thunder. Salmon a high here of 56 for Sunday, 55 for Monday, and we will have some leftover showers for Tuesday, but here's the good news. It looks like things will recover nicely for Wednesday and Thursday. There's a chance for some storm clouds to try to get in for next weekend as well. For this weekend in Rexburg, highs will be into the 40s for Monday. We'll see Blackfoot highs into the upper 40s for Monday as well with 50s for the weekend. And as we go to Pocatello and Idaho Falls to wrap things up, uh, it doesn't matter pretty much what city you're in. You're going to be hit with the wet weather with a mix of rain and snow, gusty winds, scattered showers and thunderstorms and highs falling to get us started for the week with numbers looking a little nicer by Tuesday and Wednesday. Todd. All right, Michael, thanks a lot.